And tonight, a new push to seek solutions as those in Gastonia facing homelessness are about to lose more resources. The Salvation Army will close its shelter at the end of the month. And tonight, we are also learning the food program is ending. WCNC Charlotte's Tunisia Woodard has been covering this story for us since the beginning months ago now. She joins us live in Gastonia tonight. Tradisha, you spoke with people tonight who say they look forward to these meals every single day. That's right, Colin, and a lot of them unaware that breakfast and dinner will be ending at the end of the month as well. They say without it, many would starve. We're people, we're human beings. For some out on the streets. Don't treat us like we're monsters out here. There's nothing worse than the looks. But they know better. Looks from people they say only know their current situation, not their story. Everywhere we go, everywhere we sit down or whatever we do, they run us off. So a lot of times I do feel unwanted. That's why I don't go come out. Now many preparing for the worst looks as resources shrink. The Salvation Army preparing to close its doors to the Gastonia shelter. Also taking away the one thing people look forward to. School pizza and stuff like uh, chicken noodles. The hot meals. You can't panhandle, you can't do nothing. So what are we going to do, let us starve? It's why Dwayne Burks, the director of Gateway Gaston, along with other local leaders and churches, are stepping in to help. It's a crying shame that this community can't sustain a shelter. We can have a place to serve them as they get pushed out because it's very clear there's an agenda there. He says there's currently an option for dinner and lunch, so they're focusing on ensuring folks have the most important meal of the day. A hot breakfast would be nice, but we understand if we can get them something that is good and nutritious, Get them through the get them through the lunch, get them through the day. Burke says he's hoping something as simple as a warm meal will ensure people they're not forgotten, hoping to inspire, only looking down to help them up. As long as nobody gives up on us. And that food program set to end August 31st. Local leaders are hoping to have the breakfast program set up by September 1st. If you'd like to donate, whether that's money or maybe even food, you can log on to our website at WCNC.com for a link to help you do so. As for now, reporting live in Gastonia, Tradisha Woodard, WCNC Charlotte. Yeah, hopefully something new comes September then. Thank you, Tradisha, for following this story for us. Tonight,